And today we're talking about the worst fucking Dracula movies ever fucking made. Jesus. Fuck. I mean, there's lots of fucking movies with Dracula in the fucking title. Like fucking Dracula's daughter, or fucking Dracula's widow, or Dracula's cousin, or Dracula's uncle. You know, they, they don't fucking have Dracula in it. It just says well, one of fucking Dracula's relatives, or something, you know. I'm talking about the movies that actually fucking feature the Prince of Darkness himself. Like the fucking Prince of Darkness fucking movie called The Prince of Darkness, which, uh, uh isn't fa fucking very good. No. But, but that movie's not the worst of the fucking Dracula movies, alright? Start off with fucking Dracula vs. Frankenstein, alright? Yeah, which according to the fucking cover, has fucking... Dracula and Frankenstein battling it out, right, to see who's the tougher fucking monster. But it's truthfully, the movie's not about fucking Dracula fighting Frankenstein. In fact, Frankenstein works for fucking Dracula, right? And fucking Dracula looks like... He doesn't fucking look like Dracula at all. He looks like a fucking sleazy porn star or something, you know, with a greasy mustache and a Jew fro. Eh... I don't mean to sound anti-Semitic with the fucking Jufro comment. I'm sorry about that. But fucking Dracula's not supposed to have a head of curly hair, man. He's not. This guy just doesn't look like fucking Dracula. You know. The whole production looks really sleazy and low budget, though. You see there's this chick here, and she's like tied up, like barely tied up. The rope's just kind of wrapped around her. And Dracula's fucking feeling her up like, what the fuck is this? What am I watching here? You know, it, it, it fucking, Frankenstein for a minute fucking attacks Dracula, just for a fucking minute, because he was fucking, you know, he was blinded by this guy's fucking flair, you know, and he fucking attacks Dracula because he's confused, you know, uh, really fucking bad, real fucking bad. But it's not as fucking bad as fucking Van Helsing. Yeah, whoa. Shit. Fuck that movie. Uh, Hugh Jackman, I fucking like. I fucking like Hugh Jackman. Fucking like Kate Beckinsale, you know? Um, but this movie fucking stinks, you know? They, they reinvent fucking Frankenstein, and now he fucking looks like this. I'm like, what? Now, fucking Frankenstein's been reinvented as a fucking fat guy? <laughs> What? You know, and, and the Wolfman's been thrown in for no fucking reason. Actually, fucking Van Helsing becomes the Wolfman. Right? Right? What? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Fucking Van Helsing's supposed to be an old man. He's supposed to be a fucking old man. He's always been a fucking old man. He's fucking been searching for fucking Dracula for years. Dracula doesn't age. Fucking Van Helsing does. But fucking here, I don't know. I don't know. What? what, 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 what? Fuck, fuck this fucking Van Helsing movie. Fuck it. In the face. Yeah, and you see, the thing is, if you fucking like Van Helsing, that's fine. You know, um, I, I don't fucking like it. I think it's fucking retarded, but if you like it, that's fine. You know, the fact is, I like quite a few bad movies. You know, kind of like bad movies. It, it, it can be funny, very amusing. But, uh, you know, I didn't fucking like Dracula 2000. But there's another movie called Dracula 3000. Fucking takes place in the fucking future. And, and, and like fucking... Leprechaun in space, whoa, Jason X, it's about fucking Dracula loose on a spaceship, kill, killing the crew one by one, and yeah, it's fucking retarded, but yet kind of entertaining, you know, I mean, fucking Coolio's in it, yeah, Coolio, what the fuck is he doing here, why is he on a fucking spaceship, <laughs> I mean, really, what the fuck, in the mid fucking 60s, they made a movie called Billy the Kid vs. Dracula, which fucking sure enough, Featured a fucking cowboy gunslinger versus the Prince of Darkness. And, uh, sounds fucking stupid. Was fucking stupid. I mean, the, the idea was that they were going to combine two of Hollywood's most popular genres. Horror and uh, westerns, right? Perfect, right? Perfect, yeah. No. It's fucking stupid. It, it is fucking dumb. 
But, you know, that's not the fucking worst Dracula movie ever. In my fucking personal opinion, the worst fucking Dracula movie ever <coughs> is Dracula Dead and Loving It. God, with fucking Leslie Nielsen. Ooh, you'll be my bride for eternity. Yeah, the fucking Dracula comedy. Fuck, that isn't fucking funny at all. No, because everybody in the fucking movie is old as shit and just doesn't know what's fucking funny anymore. <laughs> you know, fucking Leslie Nielsen is terrible as fucking Dracula. It's a fucking joke. I mean, it's, it's not a funny joke. It's bad. May I take your cape, sir? No, not my cape. You may take my hat. Thank you. What? Take my hat? He thinks it's a fucking hat? It's clearly a fucking wig. Oh, no, no, it's a hat that looks like you're wearing hair. Well, that, that would be a fucking wig, wouldn't it? It's a wig. I don't, I don't know what he calls it a hat. Is that what's supposed to be fucking funny about that, or what? I don't fucking get it. Nothing's fucking funny about this movie. Nothing. I mean, this part where they, they, they're stomping on this little guy, and then he step on his balls. I mean, that should be fucking funny, shouldn't it? No. Fuck. It's really fucking sad, too, because fucking Mel Brooks is fucking great. I mean, he, he, fucking Blazing Saddles, Spaceballs, Young Frankenstein. He's, uh, yeah, and for Young Frankenstein, he actually did this same concept before with fucking Frankenstein. And it was great, you know, that, but that movie was shot in black and white and, you know, made fucking the old cliches of fucking old horror movies into fucking jokes. It was really fucking funny. He, he didn't do any of the fucking day. What, 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 what the fuck? Nothing fucking worse than a comedy that's not fucking funny. It's just fucking sad. They make a joke and everybody just stands there uncomfortably expecting a laugh that just doesn't fucking happen. Tied it to his heart! Uh-oh. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking talking about shitty Dracula movies. Next time, we're gonna fucking play a shitty Dracula game. Yeah, fucking Bram Stoker's Dracula for the Sega Genesis. Which I got because, well, we're talking about Dracula, so it seemed fucking perfect, right? God damn bitches, it's a fucking piece of shit. Fuck off. God damn it. Fuck you. Well, we're gonna fucking play it next time. Okay? Until then, keep it real.